Hi everyone, Eric Nelson here once again, and thank you for tuning into my YouTube channel. For tonight, I am back with another book review on Wade Franson's The People of the Sign. Now, so let me just go right ahead and say it. This is a religious book, and now you're probably now you're probably thinking that based on some of the reviews I did from other books that were either religious or anti-religious, you're probably thinking, oh boy, he's going to start bashing religion. Well, over the years, I've had a pretty conflicted uh, view on religion. I went into an area, well, I was born and raised Catholic, and then I went into an, an and then I went to the whole idea of atheism, and then I started to become agnostic. Now, I honestly do not have an opinion on religion. So, now, what is my opinion on Wade Ferranson's The People of the Sign? Well, I like it. And it's not like, it's not a book talking about a certain religion or a religious group, and it's not about someone who has a certain opinion of, about religion and saying that anybody who disagrees with, with him or her is completely wrong. This is actually an autobiography, but not like a 500-page biography detailing everything about Wade Ferranson's life. He just, he only talks about what's relevant in his life and how religion and the songs of the of the Beatles saved his life. Now, how are those two things uh, relatable, especially when, since uh, John Lennon said that they were much more popular than Jesus Christ? Well, <laughs> you see, back then that was real. I mean, like nowadays. Well, I well, okay, maybe okay. I'm I'm getting off subject here. But um, in the book, Wade Ferranson first begins his autobiography by talking about how his uh, folks actually met. Um, his father was this uh, iron maker who was real hardworking and, and, and a real risk taker. And his mother, although he doesn't really have a whole lot of knowledge on what she was like in her young years, but he says that she seemed a loving when he first uh, when he first started to develop memories and his first memory of her was sort of pleasant but there was something odd about her well that sense of oddness was actually based on her love for alcohol and um oh and also the father was born and raised mostly in sweden which is not a real religious country. As a matter of fact, it's somewhat uh, liberal. Um, but uh, they, he actually met his wife in the in the uh, country of Canada, and then once they had, once they were married and had uh, children, he found this great paying job in Alaska. Well, the mother didn't really want to go to Alaska. Or, you know, see, it's it's a little confusing about how on the commuting and the uh, traveling, because in Wade Franson's uh, childhood, if not his whole life, there's a lot of uh, ch traveling. And um, now because of that, he was a constant target for bullies because he kept on changing schools. And uh, then he then he went into an, into an, an era where he was in a class where he was the oldest or the youngest and he was a lot shorter than them so he was a constant target for bullies and because of his mother's alcoholism you know it really and and of course the absence of his uh, father because he was constantly at work and living in another part of the world so and at the time um religion wasn't a part of his life so did he have an escape Yes, he had the songs of the Beatles, and in his autobiography, The People of the Sign, each chapter 
is a, is a title song from the from the actual Beatles. Now, it doesn't now he it doesn't imply this in the book, but in my interpretation, I think that this that listening to the Beatles saved his life as a young kid, because if you don't have an escape from harsh from harshness and horrible surroundings when you're a young kid what kind of escape could you possibly have if you don't have one i mean i mean there is another one but once you take that route you can't come back i you know i hope i don't offend wade for and i'm just stating my own point of view on why he decided to put the all the why he decided to name all the uh, chapters uh, songs from the Beatles so but anyway um so as his father is working in Alaska he develops you know he hears um this this one ultra conservative radio host by the name of Garner Ted Armstrong who was basically as he says in his autobiography the Rush Limbaugh of the 1960s and he so he was an ultra conservative radio host but his father was also the um, main uh, the major funder of this one church called uh, the worldwide church of god and once his father finds it and then you know and develops a, a sense of like of of religion you know which is a real contrast to his swedish heritage um he uh you know he he finally decides to take his kids away from his mother well then they they get into a real custody battle and uh eventually well he eventually he is able to to actually get wade and his uh, bro and his and his and his siblings into the uh, worldwide church of god and they love it for once they feel a sense of warmth kindness and belonging and safety However, his mother is able to get them back. Well, then there are return to the harshness of his mother and the horrible world that she has. And then, um, and then of course, Wade is, has to go back to a regular school where he's always bullied. But then his father is able to bring them back. Well, and you'll find out later in the book why, but he's not happy about seeing his father again and uh so then he go so then he decides to re rebel and he starts doing drugs you know as the 60s are going into the 70s which which when that happens the whole drug population escalated so then um but then once he survives this one uh this one accident he then he then hears a calling and um then he decides to sort of go back and now so then the and that leads to the uh, to the second part of the of the autobiography where he goes back to the worldwide church of god and you see uh, like what they uh, re and there's a lot of great uh, detail about what they do how they organize things and um once you know and what you know and 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 i think i'll i will stop right there because then you really sort of see the evolution of not a character and not a protagonist but the evolution of a christian and whether you agree with christianity or not i i think it's a great way to develop you know a sense of character and a sense of uh of like who you are and um what you what your beliefs are and what your moral values are and coming from a non-religious person well I'm, I'm not against religion but i just i just see it as a hobby i don't really you, you know and but i i think it's a great book i think you know whether you're not well, whether you're religious or not or whether you 
are searching for answers or if you think you have all the answers to your life already, I think you should read the, this book. It's a very, you know, and let me just say this. It's also the evolution of, of life. Maybe a life that's not relatable to you, but I'm sure you can find a lot of relatable uh, details once you read Wade Ferranson's The People of the Sign. So you can get this book anywhere, especially Amazon, and I hope to see you all at the bookstore or the iBookstore.